sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes comes in, you, and you pay attention to the one wearing fine clothes, and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves, and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus 
was a great healer and his reputation as a great healer, it drew people, more and more people to him. People who would listen and some of those who came would later become disciples that spread that good news. St. Augustine made an interesting observation about Jesus as we think about this gospel today. He noted that Jesus was the Word made flesh, so that every one of his actions is a Word. St. Augustine pointed out that for each of the physical miracles that we see Jesus doing, there is something deeper for each of the future generations to hear and consider. The miracle isn't just physical at that time, but it's an even deeper spiritual gift for all of us to consider. The physical miracle of opening the ears and the speech of man opens a question for us. Are our ears opening open to listen to what Jesus might propose for us? What stands in the way of our ears being open? What needs to happen? for each of our epithet moments. Isn't it interesting that in today's gospel, we see that Jesus takes away the deaf man from the hustle and bustle of the crowd before he kills him. It seems that getting away from the hustle and bustle might be a good first step to open ourselves to where we can hear what Jesus might have in store for us. Well, we may hear Jesus say, Ephatha, and open ours, our ears. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I love to watch sports. It can be baseball, golf, basketball, tennis, or maybe even watching a football game where a team leaves far back. <laughs> so now, some of you may be like me, but that's that thing that kind of keeps you away from listening. But for a lot of us, with our families, and maybe some noise in our day, sporting events, social events, and the lore of CV and social media, there are all things that are good, but they can wear us out where at the end of the day we're just too tired to open, to be open to a little more time with Jesus. They can plug our ears from listening. So I'd like to propose a goal for each of us if we aren't already kind of doing this and, and working our way through this. If you think about it, 15 minutes is 1% of the 24 hour day, or just about 1%. Can we take 1% of that 24 hour day and spend a little time listening to what Jesus may have in store? In 15 minutes, you know, 1% doesn't sound exactly what 15 minutes does. But, <laughs> but, you know, 15 minutes may be 3 minutes here, 4 minutes here, you know, a few more minutes here and there during the day. But try to spend that 15 minutes. And if you can't get to 15 minutes, start with 5. I think you will find you'll slowly grow. And if you aren't sure what you should do, then I'll just tell you what I say. What for me doesn't always work for everyone. But I usually, when I started trying to do this, I started praying. A little bit and said, I don't know what I'm doing, don't you figure it out. And for friends, it must have been touched by the Holy Spirit. It kind of led me to where I said, I need to read or at least take a look at the daily readings of the, of the, that we have in class every day. So that may be something that you want to do. Say a little prayer to ask for guidance. I think that going to the Bible and doing the reflections is a really good idea because Jesus is the Word made flesh. And what we read in these daily Gospels comes from Jesus. Now, if you're starting out, it can be pretty intimidating because you pull, pull the reading out and go, Okay, I'm ready. What the heck am I supposed to do now? So, if you struggle with that, I would tell you that there's some helpers along the way that can help you with that. I did a daily uh, reading and actually a little bit of uh, a reflection from 
from Bishop Robert Barron, it just comes from email. Nero, I like you, but there's a lot of other guys that do this as well. You can look around and find one that really touches you with how they reflect on these things. There's also little booklets that you may want to take a look at. Uh, there's a number of different ways to do it. This is called Give Us This Day, which kind of lets you take a look at today's Mass and lets you uh, see the gospel reading is and maybe reflect on the same of the day. It's just something kind of to help you draw in and grow your connection with Jesus Christ. So like the physical miracle that Jesus performed on the deaf man, a short time in conversation with Jesus each day can open our ears wider and wider to hear what he needs to make that in store for us. And with that listening, I think we have to listen before we know how to speak. So with that listening, we think we can grow in confidence so that at times when we feel like we need to speak to others, we will have the confidence in the conversation with Jesus that we know what to say. Please stand. And together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God.
if it be your will, grant answers to our petitions. Open our eyes and our hearts to see how we can help bring these petitions to fulfillment by loving one another as you have loved us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.